soft. Well, I'm free. I'm really free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time ever? I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh. This would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. Best day ever! <laughs> I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stop right there. Who are you? Oh. I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce... Uh... Oh, my name's Sora. And I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's huh? just we're heroes. Uh huh. And uh -huh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just leave it to us. Done. Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. Huh? The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. Mm. <laughs> uh, yep. Unforgettable. Just like your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mal. All for one and one for all. Cover! Huh? Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> All right. I hate to say it, but I'm letting you out of this deal. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No. I am seeing those lanterns. <clears throat> oh, come on! <clears throat> Rapunzel? It's okay. I'm not afraid to face them. <sighs> Rapunzel? Rapunzel! Someone? Who's there? She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. Okay, that's suspicious. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Rapunzel? Don't worry. I know to be careful around flowers now. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not normal. I'll take a look. Ratchet! Uh. Oh. Hmm. Huh. We're all clear. <laughs> These guys, they're nobodies. Mother said the outside world would be full of ruffians and thugs. Where's that red flags? Where's that? Uh, I don't know. Rapunzel, Flynn, stay back. No, I want to help you fight. I know, but I'm afraid you can't hurt these guys with a frying pan. Trust me on this. Flynn, could you explain? No problem. Knowing when to flee is one of my specialties. <sighs> Come on, Rapunzel. Gotta go. What? Look. I want to stay and slug it out too, but my sidekicks haven't covered! All right. Please be careful, Sora. <laughs> you know who uses nobodies? <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen him. I know you're there! Come out, you has-beens! has -beens. Now why would you say that? Because! Bossing around nobodies? That's the old organization. Why? Are you in the real one, too? Good for you! My name is Marluxia. And yes, that is correct. How interesting it is to see you again, Sora. Again? You know him? Mm -hmm. A shame you've no memory of me, because I remember you exceedingly well. Although, it's those memories I'd soon erase. I don't know what you're saying! Nor should you. Nor will you ever, for that matter. <laughs> now, if you'll permit me, I've come to ask a favor. Favor? You have got to be kidding me! Please hear what I have to say. I'm sure you've noticed. Well, perhaps not. 
But you should know that maiden with you, Rapunzel, is the very light of this world. I would see you guard her from its dark horrors. Huh? Oh. Starting with you, right? All the organization seeks is balance. You must understand, our ultimate objective is not to clash with the light. We seek to complement it. Use that Keyblade to keep Rapunzel safe. Rapunzel's light? Oh, hey, where did they go? I guess they must have run on ahead. Then we'd better go find them. <sighs> I wonder where they went. Don't worry. They couldn't have gotten too far. You just had to stop and talk. Hey, blame the has-been, not me. Oh, I think you mean Marluxia. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has-been would prefer. <sighs> Hello? Rapunzel! Flynn! Excuse okay. me, good travelers. Do you know Rapunzel? Uh, uh, yeah. Sort of. Why? My apologies. I'm Rapunzel's mother. The poor child left home without a word, and I've just been worried sick. Please tell me. Where is my dear, sweet girl? We'd tell you, but we lost her. By accident. We could look together. Lost her? <sighs> You're of no use to me. I'll find her myself. She ran away from home? What if Marluxia was on to something back there? You trust organization, Captain? What? No, of course not. But what if? I agree. Why is Rapunzel in danger? And what darkness is after her? Well, guys, the first step is to find her. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Easy, boy, easy. Huh? Settle down. Whoa, whoa. That voice. It's Rapunzel. Oh, you are such a good boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> are you all tired from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh, come on! He's a bad horse! Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right? Maximus? What? You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is kind of the biggest day of my life. And the thing is, I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Mm. And it's also my birthday, just so you know. Rapunzel! You're here, and you're okay. <clears throat> yeah, you too. And look, I need a friend. Meet Maximus. You could say Flynn introduced us, and where one goes, the other follows. No. This is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. They've been helping me. <sighs> Come on. The kingdom's not far. I just knew 
knew the outside world would be full of amazing things! And you! You helped me find them! Thank you! Rapunzel sure looks happy. She does. Well, her dream's gonna come true. They're sending the lanterns up after dark. Cool. We don't want to miss that. For the last princess. Looking out a window for 18 years. Dreaming about what it might feel like when those lights rise in the sky. What if it's not everything I dreamed it would be? It will be. And what if it is? What do I do then? Well, that's the good part, I guess. You get to go find a new dream. something for you, too. I should have given it to you before, but I was just scared. And the thing is, I'm not scared anymore. You know what I mean? I'm starting to.
I'm sorry. Everything is fine. There's just something I have to take care of. Okay. I'll be right back. It's all right, Pascal. Wow! <laughs> Could you guys have possibly picked a worse time? I don't think they appreciate the moment, Sora. <laughs> it's time for these wet blankets to go. <laughs> Eugene? Eugene! Oh dear, <gasps> he's run off with the crown and forgotten you. No, he wouldn't. Who are you? Forget Flynn Rider. You know where you belong, and it's not with him. Now. you I was so worried about you dear so I followed you and I saw them attack you and oh my let's go let's go before they come too Isn't that Rapunzel? Wait! Rapunzel! Oh. Show some decorum. You again! Marluxia! The girl has found her dear mother. You should let them be. And why is that? Because Rapunzel is far too important. Atop her tower, she must remain out of sight and live out her days with Mother Gothel. And never see anyone else? But that's like locking her in some prison. That is exactly what it's like. Rapunzel's hair holds the powerful magic of healing. And yes, Mother Gothel wants it for herself, as do others. And if Mother Gothel's actions will protect Rapunzel, preserve her, then she is doing the organization a favor. What favor? Let's say she's keeping Rapunzel on the shelf for us. An extra pawn in case you fail to find the remaining Guardians of Light. And we have occasion to call on other Hearts of Light instead. A new seven hearts to fill out the ranks. New seven hearts? Yes. Seven who inherited the princess's light after their role was fulfilled. So you don't care about her? You guys just want Rapunzel for your own purposes. Well, 
You're done here! Hmm. I just knew you would go and make a scene. Very well. Then it's lights out for you. were such a sound sleeper. Speak up, Rapunzel. You know how I hate the mumbling. I am the lost princess, aren't I? Did I mumble, Mother? Or should I even call you that? Oh, Rapunzel. Do you even hear yourself? Why would you ask such a ridiculous question? <laughs> uh, it was you! It was all you! Everything I did was to protect you. Uh, Rapunzel! I've spent my entire life hiding from people who would use me for my power. Rapunzel! When I should have been hiding from you! Where will you go? He won't be there for you. What did you do to him? That criminal's to be hanged for his crimes. No. No, no, it's all right. Listen to me. All of this is as it should be. No! No! You were wrong about the world. And you were wrong about me. And I will never let you use my hair again! You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. Flynn! Is Sora okay? We don't know! We keep calling his name and shaking him, but he won't open his eyes. Sora! Wake up! Hmm. Unresponsive sidekick. Wait a minute. I know how to fix this. Max! Give him a wash. did the trick. Nice work, Max. Huh? How did I end up? Oh no! Flynn! Rapunzel's being held prisoner! That's right. In her mother's tower. This calls for a rescue. Are you with me? <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go, Max. <laughs> Rapunzel, I thought I'd never see you again. Huh? Save him. I will go with you. Uh, no, no, Rapunzel. Uh, uh, I'll never uh, run. I'll never try to escape. Just let me heal him, and you and I will be together forever, just like you want. Everything will be the way it was. I promise. Just like you want. Just. Let me heal him. In case you get any ideas about following us. You... Eugene! Oh, I'm so sorry. Everything is gonna be okay, though. No, Rapunzel. I promise. You have to trust me. No. I can't let you do this. And I can't let you die. But if you do this... But if you do this, then you will die. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Rapunzel. Wait. Fall into darkness. We can't allow her near our pure light now. Her presence would only cast a pall over it.
Did I ever tell you I've got a thing for brunettes? Oh, Eugene! Wow, Rapunzel, you're finally gonna get to see your real home! I know. I mean, I can't believe it! I can finally be with my real family! I couldn't have done it without your help. You're welcome! <laughs> well, from where I'm standing, the kingdom couldn't ask for a better princess. And I couldn't have asked for better sidekicks! Thanks. Yes, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Now, Flynn, you and Maximus play nice. Huh? All right. <laughs> You're gonna be great. Huh? We haven't seen the guy controlling the monsters in a while, so that's one less worry. But there's still a chance that he might be around here somewhere. Well, if he comes back and tries to bother Rapunzel again, then Flynn will keep her safe. And we three won't be far behind. Come on! When Petrus detects one, if you ask me... True. But nevertheless, I won't let her out of my sight. Oh, Eugene. Eugene? Oh, haha. <laughs> That's my real name. Eugene Fitzherbert. That's right. I never told you guys. That's different. I think it's a great name. Me too. Nice to re-meet you, Eugene. Hey, I thought I was the only one you were going to tell? Don't worry. I've saved plenty of Fitzherberty secrets just for you. Really? Hey, what are you two lovebirds talking about? Nothing! <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you can tell us. Yeah, it's not nice to keep secrets. This one is none of your business. <laughs> Maximus, get him! Huh? <laughs> uh, you have got to be kidding me! Another world where we got doodly squat. Hmm. You sure this box thingy's even real? Yes. Yeah, and just how do you know that? It is etched. It's what? Come with me. Where to? Those bozos ain't gonna help us. Sora sure not looking for the box. Who said anything about following them? No.
Wanted. You had to remind me? Well, gosh, we just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. I'll bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your Majesty! Oh, oh. Uh, hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No. Rico and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys. But it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. In order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? Yeah, to put his heart in. Hmm. Huh? Replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas, realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Thanks. Wait. Do you guys think they're after replicas too? Nope, they definitely said a black box. Who's that? The organization and Maleficent. Oh, oh. Uh, I guess we forgot to mention it. Huh, it's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? So let the rest of us worry about Roxas and Naminé for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. No, yes, your Majesty. No, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality. Well, we gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right.
one was watching that! Uh, sorry. But this is no time for television, Rex. Gotta say, that Giga's pretty impressive. Really? I like his aura most. Woody, <laughs> what gives? Shh. Are they back? Shh. All right, guys. Today we teach those mask intruders who's boss. Is everybody in position? Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared. Would you calm down? Don't worry, I got you covered. It's go time. What in the world? Where are we? Hmm? Oh my gosh! Have we been shrunk? And... and look at us! You know what the magic is for? We have to protect the world order! Border? I said order! Gorge! Hmm? Who's going to protect the order from them? Heartless! Okay, we go on three. One, two... Wait! What are you doing? Who are those guys? Are they new? Uh -huh. Wait! Oh, oh, you look familiar! Huh? I know this! What? You're, uh, uh, you're, uh... You're Zora! Huh? My name's Sora. Oh, <clears throat> Stay back. For all we know, the intruder yeah, said... Zora! Huh? <clears throat> Slow down there, Rex. We don't know them. But we can trust them. They're the number one selling heroes in the country. Yeah, and his mom Ooh. must have <laughs> bought him for him. Ham's right. Did you see how easily they took care of the intruders? I bet they're here to figure out why all our friends have gone missing, and why Buzz's laser started actually lasering, and had all the weird stuff that's been going on. I mean, that's what heroes do, right? Let's not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Gotta be smart, Woody. So you're Andy's new toys? Toys? You sure did a number on those intruders. Those are the heartless. The bad guys. We've been fighting against those intruders for a while. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh? In that case, you're all right by me. My name's Woody. Put her there. Hey. Now hold on. I'm Sora. You Sora! <laughs> Actually, my name's Sora. And I'm Donald. Oh, I'm Goofy. And I'm Buzz Lightyear. Call me him. It's a real honor. And I'm Rex. I'm your biggest fan. In fact, I've been playing your game for months now. And I've already gotten you all the way up to level 47. But that Bahamut boss is really tough. Slinky and I can't figure out how to beat him. Oh, I wish Slinky and the others were here. They'd be so happy to meet you. All troops, at mm -hmm. attention, sir. <laughs> Strangers, from the outside, welcome. They're all toys? So that's why we look the way we do. Huh? Excuse me. You said that you've battled those intruders before. Tell us where and why. Oh, well, uh, we are... Dada! No! Well? 
You must have come from somewhere. Hmm. Take it easy, Buzz. What matters is that they got those intruders out of our way for at least a little while. No need to interrogate them. Yeah, Buzz. Woody's right. Noted. But still. Hey, mm -hmm. have those intruders, the Heartless, been a problem around here? No, they just showed up a little while ago. In fact, those Heartless materialized right after all of our friends up and vanished. You don't think. Well, gee, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm. It wasn't always this lonely. One day we woke up and we were the only toys left here. Nobody's heard from Mom, Molly, or Andy. <sighs> we keep waiting for Andy to come home. You really care about him. <sighs> yeah. He's the best friend that toys like us could ever hope to have. All right. We better start looking. Huh? Have you got any clues we can go on? Any other strange things that happened? Well, hmm. Hmm. There's one thing. <laughs> one big thing? Huge, sir. What thing? After everyone went MIA, the intruders didn't come alone. They arrived with a guy wearing a hood dressed in black just like you. As a matter of fact, he's the only other toy we've seen outside of you three. A black hood? <gasps> but that would mean... The, the organization. organization! You know who it is? <laughs> yeah, they're bad news. Seems like you have a lot of enemies. We may have a hunch what's causing all the weirdness. Would you mind if we handle this? I'm sorry, but we're not gonna leave this to you. Huh? If that guy had something to do with our friends vanishing, then he's our problem too. We've got to work together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then, where can we find that guy? Sarge, any word from the recon team? The latest reports place them in town, sir, at Galaxy Toys. Then Galaxy Toys is where we're going. Sora, mm -hmm. follow me. It's out the window and down the roof. Not so fast, cowboy. Hmm? You seem pretty gung-ho about going. But shouldn't we stay here and wait for Andy? Well, you've got a point, but we've tried waiting. Look, if we go with Sora, we might find a clue. Are you with me, Buzz? <laughs> of course. Okay, let's move out. <laughs> <laughs>